Well, hello, everybody, and happy Saturday. It is Saturday, October 21st, which um, I was getting ready to say it's the first day of fall, but that was in September. <laughs> I'm only a month off. <laughs> I just saw the 21st. I'm like, oh, the 21st is something. <laughs> it's a couple days after my birthday. <laughs> I'm getting old and senile already. <laughs> All right, how is everybody doing today? I hope you guys are having an awesome Saturday. It's absolutely gorgeous here in Chesapeake, Virginia. And uh, we had a little bit of a rainy day yesterday, but it is gorgeous, like high of 65 today, breezy, sunny, not a cloud in the sky. I had an awesome birthday week. And um, I just wanna say thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for all the birthday cards I got. Um, I, I did pick some winners, but it was very hard. First, I was going to have three winners. Then I said, well, there's so many good ones, I'll do five. And then I was like, <laughs> I had a hard time narrowing it down because they're so good. They were they were so good. So I even feel bad picking winners because there's just so many good ones that um, I feel like I should give at least like 30 or 40 prizes out. But um, I don't have that much money, so... Um, I did try to narrow it down to like, I think I've picked eight. Um, and that was just like, I couldn't go any farther than that down. So <laughs> I think I have eight winners today. So the cards were just fantastic. And if you didn't win, don't feel bad because there were like 25 runner ups that just, I really, really hated to take them out of the winning pile because they were just so good. So but the ones that won, I just think were just like so amazing and it had so much work in them. And I just, you know, I, I really loved them all though. You guys just really, really made my birthday super awesome. And I just thank you, thank you, thank you. Now, if you're one of those people who doesn't like talking, just fast forward for the next like 10 or 15 minutes because uh, we're going to show some birthday cards and chit chat and uh, just have a good time today. And I know that's only like one person who doesn't like the chit chat, but <laughs> I just thought I'd throw that in there. <laughs> like Patty Bennett, she always says that at the beginning of her videos. If you don't like the chit chat, just fast forward a little bit. All right, so I'm going to set this aside for just a minute so I can show you the birthday cards that I got in the last couple days. So <laughs> there were just so many, and this is just a sum of them. All right, so here you go. If you want to take screenshots of these, they're gorgeous. This one is from Coral Blind, and this is an absolutely beautiful one. It's got a little trick closing here, so it's like a little latch, and you open it up, <gasps> and there's a surprise inside, which I saw this, but I left it in there. So she sent me a Dollar Tree gift card. I was so excited because, you know, I love the Dollar Tree. Not so much since you got to pack your own stuff there, but um, I still love it. So thank you, Coral. That was so sweet. I love it, love it, love it. Um, and I love it when there's little surprises inside. That's always exciting. So that's one. Then I got this one. Let me see who this is from. Um, oh, Gail Otto. This is for, um, hold on, not a card, but she sent me from Australia some look I got this whole package from Australia isn't that exciting so she sent me some napkins that were and a card so this is the card love it and then she sent these napkins which are beautiful and I just was like oh my gosh they're so pretty and she did peel off the extra layer so it wouldn't weigh as much but aren't these just the most gorgeous napkins you've ever seen I don't know where she got them, but um, I'm guessing somewhere in Australia. But aren't they beautiful? I just love them. Even the chicken one I thought was cute. So thank you, Gail. That was just super duper sweet. I love those napkins. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Love those. All right, so then this one is from Bill. So Bill sent, oh no, wait a minute, this is not Bill's. Bill's right here, sorry. That one doesn't have an envelope. Bill sent me this card, which was so beautiful. Love it. And a nice little note that made me cry. But uh, Bill, thank you so much. I just love that card. And um, it's always exciting when you get a card from a man. Because <laughs> I only got two. 
<laughs> one from Bill and one from um, John. <laughs> so that was exciting. Even since I'm not dating anybody. All right. Who is this one from? I can't remember. Oh, Janet Kunkel. Why doesn't it have the envelope with it? I don't know. Okay, so this one is from Janet Kunkel, which I thought was beautiful. And she also did all those pearls. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. And that's like the shimmery white paper. I don't know if we have that anymore. I can't remember. Does anybody know if we still have the shimmer white? I don't think we do. I think it retired last year, but I love it. Love it, love it. This one is from Cheryl Fagan. And she didn't even sign it. <laughs> she must have been in a real hurry. <laughs> so thank you, Cheryl. I love that little lamb. Cute, cute. And this one is from Valerie, my friend Valerie, who lives right here. And I also got a gift card from her too. So thank you, Valerie. That was super duper sweet. Love, love, love. Love those gift cards. I love the cards too, but the gift cards are extra bonus. This one is gorgeous too. I love, you know, you guys know I love the Daisy cards. So this one is, everybody wrote such nice notes too. And I, I did read all these notes. They were just amazing, sweet, sweet notes. Love that one. Here's um, one from Kathleen um, Ennis, I think is how you say your last name. And this is kind of like the card that I did the other day with that, um, you know, the special fold where you can see the inside of the paper in there too. So thank you for that one. This one is from Olda, no, Uda, Uda Grenz. Uda Grenz. That sounds um, German, kind of. And she sent me this beautiful card with our old Daisy Punch, which I love. I really miss that punch. This one is from Shelly Taylor. And this is, um, I thought it was a napkin card at first, but I think it is, I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's a stamp or a um, stencil. I'm not sure, but that was cute. So thank you, Shelly. This one is from Jenny. Um, Harold, and this one I thought was really cute. It's a um, jar, and it was like, it opens like that. Isn't that cute? I'd love to have the pattern for that. I'm, I don't know where she got the pattern from, but I thought it was adorable, because I would love to make that. I guess I could trace it. But I thought it was so cute. Oh, and she said, read this. Okay, so this was, um, she said, please read this to your viewers because it's funny, so I'm gonna read this. A crafter's night before Christmas. Twas the night before Christmas, I'm glued to the tree. I'm wondering what Santa brought just for me. Could it be cardstock or vellum or lace or a big shot, I said with a smile on my face. And that's when I heard him. Hi, Santa, I said. You know, good little girls should be in their, he said, oh, he said. You know, good little girls should be in their beds. I know I should, Santa, and now I've been caught, but I was so excited to see what you brought. Well, let's take a look in this room where you work. He shook his head quickly and left with a jerk. <laughs> I heard him exclaim as he put it in gear. You've got enough crap. I'll see you next year. <laughs> That's what he would say to my craft room. So thank you for that. That was hysterical. So that was from Jenny. So thank you, Jenny. I love that. I thought that was so cute. But I really like that pattern. So if you have a pattern... Um, or I guess it's a, it's probably a die cut. It looks like it was die cut, but I think I'll have to trace it because I love it. Um, this one was from Diane Egan, and I love this one too. It's one of my favorite stamp sets, the textured tile, textured and tile or textured tile, I think is the name of it. Love it. This was a Halloween birthday card, so it was uh, kind of a combo, Halloween and birthday. And this one was from Galen Smith. Oh, no, sorry, that's her husband, Cindy Ira Smith. That was from Cindy. And I love when this has the husband's name on the, the thing, too. <laughs> this one I thought was so beautiful. This one is from Deanie um, Watley, who's in my downline, and she lives in Alaska. And I thought this was gorgeous. She said she just threw it together because she didn't have time to make one. I said, well, 
I think that's pretty gorgeous for just throwing it together. So I love it, love it. So it's just the die and she sponged behind it. So I thought about making a card like this and putting the designer paper behind it. I think that would be really fun. All right, this one, who is this one? I think this one's from Cheryl too. Hold on, yeah, Cheryl Fagan, she sent me another one. So this one she signed, <laughs> so it's a shaker cord. Love it, love it. So thank you, Cheryl. Um, this one is from Janelle Ellison. And this is a book binding card, which is also one of my favorite things with that gorgeous paper. And I, you know, I have this happy birthday and I haven't used it yet. And I keep, I got like four or five cards with that on there. I'm like, I have got to start using that more because it's so cute. Um, love this card. Thank you so much. This one I thought was so cute. So this one is not a birthday card, but I wanted to show it to you. So this is from Twyla, um, Twyla White. And she sent me a get well card because, you know, I had COVID. And I love how she made that little tissue box. And um, I don't know what she put on there. I don't know if it's just embossed with Versamark and clear embossing powder. But it's really shiny and it looks so cute. So thank you, Twyla, for that beautiful card. And then this one is from the same one that I just got another one from too. Hold on, I don't know why it's still in the wrapper because I did pull it out. I think I wanted to keep that letter with it. All right, so this one is from Mary Gerwin. She says Gerwin. <laughs> Mary Gerwin, love it. I love how it's got that fun fold on the front. I was thinking it opened too, but it doesn't. And then she sent me a nice little note. I love all the notes you guys write. And this is what is um, all the products that she used. So thank you so much for that. Oh, I know it came in this like this. So she mailed it just like that. And it came in the clear envelope. Like with my address on the other side here. She mailed it like this. And I was shocked that I got it. Because I would think somebody would have stolen it in the, um, the mail. You know, if you send a beautiful card, you'd think the mailman would steal it. I don't know. All right. These cards right here I got from my girlfriend. So um, yesterday, let me read some comments real quick. I forgot to say hello to everybody. Oh, my gosh. I forgot to even tell you who it was. Did I even say my name? This is Lisa Freeman from StampingWithLisa.com. I can't even remember. Um, hey, Carol. Hey, Julie. Hey, Marie. Hey, Mary. Hey, Cindy. Oh, Cindy, I need to get your address because I have a card for you. Um, hey, Diane. Hey, Denise. Oh, yeah, I got to tell you about my dentist appointment. Um, it was funny. It was really funny. Um, let's see. Hey, Blue Moon. Hey, Cindy. Um, Ira Smith. <laughs> I just said your husband's name on here. Um, hey, Melinda. Hey, Rita. Um, hey, Donna. Hey, Debbie. Hey, Elizabeth. From Salt Lake City. I love Salt Lake City. I love it when, when when Stampin' Up! used to have the conventions in Salt Lake City. It was so much fun to go there. Hey, Judith. Hey, Marva. Hey, Laura. Hey, Regina. Hey, Jalen. Hey, Josie. Hey, Jude. Hey, Mary. Hey, Quincy. Hey, Ruth. Oh, my gosh. We've got a bunch of people on here. 89 people. Hey, Ida or Ida or Aunt. Oh, there's Anya. Oh, I got a funny thing for you, Anya, because my <laughs> we were talking about the German joke I said the other day, you know, the constipate, what is, how do you say constipation in German? And it was far from pooping. So I told, I was telling the dentist jokes, like the whole time he was doing my teeth and he wasn't like actually in my mouth. I was telling him jokes and he was telling me jokes back because he's kind of a joker too. So I have a funny, a funny story about that. Um, let me see. Oh, hey, Mario. Let me see who else is on here. I think I got almost everybody. Hey, Robin. All right, so these cards are from my really good friend. So yesterday, we celebrated my birthday at my friend Melissa's house. So she is one of my uplines. So Faith is my direct upline, and then Melissa's above Faith. So we were at Melissa's house, and we had um, stamping, and then we had lunch, and it was just a really fun time. So this card is from Melissa and it is absolutely gorgeous. 
She always does amazing cards. So she used the fractured technique for this one or the um, faux shutter. Every time I say that, I want to say faux show. <laughs> faux show. <laughs> I don't know why I do that. But it's faux shutter. Faux shutter. Um, this one <laughs> is from Colleen. So Colleen's another one of my really good friends, Colleen Magnus. And she has um, a YouTube channel too that some of you guys watch. This one is from um, Joyce, I think. Yeah, from my friend Joyce Daniel. And she made this cute, um, I don't know if that's the Hey Chick or whatever chick. Um, it's the Guy Chick one, I think. And then this one is from my friend Michelle Burkett. And she always makes beautiful cards too. And that's with that Tahitian, uh, what's it called? Tahitian, no, tartan, not Tahitian, tartan paper. All right. So, <clears throat> so I've got two more fantastic ones. So these are two of the winners, and I'm going to show you the other winners from the other day. So you haven't seen these yet. So this one is from Marie Curl, and I loved this card. I was like, oh my gosh, I don't know how you did it. I don't know what you did, but you're going to have to tell me because it kind of looks like a napkin. It has some texture of something on there but I'm not sure what it is and then she did dry embossing with the paste the embossing paste and I wish you could see this up close and in, and in, uh, I know she's on here Marie you're on here um you're gonna have to tell us how you did this card because I think it's absolutely gorgeous um Chuck oh it's Chuck hey Chuck yeah that's right hey Chuck yes so I just got your card and yours is one of the winners so I absolutely loved it, but I want to know how you made it, especially this background, because I know how you did this with the embossing paste, but I don't know how you did this part, but it was absolutely gorgeous. And I love it, love it. So that's from Marie. So she's one of the winners. This one is from Denise Gardner. And so it comes, it was folded up like this, and then you open it and it's, it's like this. It's like a castle. It's like a little castle. So it goes like that. So you can kind of see that's what it looks like up front. <laughs> it's like an amazing card. I don't even know how long it would take to make this card, but it was like, oh my gosh. So you poof it out and you get all this um, in the card. So I don't even know how you would make this card, but it was amazing so I thought this was definitely definitely one of the winners but um I thought that was so cool but it is gorgeous so that is from Denise Gardner from North Carolina so thank you Denise for that card it was so beautiful I don't know there we'll put it back like that all right so that's another one and then these are the ones I already showed you so this one is from John from um, the UK. This is the one I just think is absolutely gorgeous. And I still don't know how he did all that gold flecking on there, but I'm thinking it was either like embossed it um, or it was the gold leafing something. I don't know, but you did put your address on here. So I don't know how to send you stuff. So John, you're gonna have to send me your address. All right, so we've got these two, three. This one was from Bonnie Haystet, and I loved, loved, loved that. That's one of my favorite stamp sets. So I loved it. And then this is from my friend, Beth Dreyer. She made this gorgeous card, and it is, I wish you could see it in person. It is so beautiful. And it's got sparkle all over it. It's just absolutely gorgeous. Yes, Marie, I did get your card. This one is from Diane Eckleberry, and this one I just thought was gorgeous too. And that's using that um, tart, is it tartan? Tartan paper. And the stencil with the um, daisy, I mean, not daisy, the sunflower. And I just thought it was gorgeous, gorgeous. So, and then this one is from Linda Creaseman, and this one is absolutely gorgeous. She did uh, just an amazing job of cutting out all that stuff. And it just is like so real looking. 
I thought it was amazing. So thank you for that, Linda. And this is the other one. So I'm running out of room here. This is the other one. So this was from um, Linda Hall and she made this card with the, another one of those fancy folds. So these were the ones I picked that were my favorite. So um, I showed them to my girlfriend yesterday. I took them all over there and they looked at them and they were just like, oh my gosh, these are amazing cards. So they were very jealous. <laughs> so, so you guys that won, I'm gonna send you guys a gift in the mail. Um, I haven't decided exactly what it's gonna be yet, but make sure, I've got your addresses, except for John. Um, I've got everybody's addresses still, so um, I can send it to you. So thank you, thank you, thank you to everybody who sent cards. They were all amazing, but these just were my absolute favorite ones. Um, but all of them were awesome. So you guys just did above and beyond amazing and made my birthday super, super duper special. You guys are some fantastic stampers, that's for sure. I was like, oh my gosh, everybody on here should start their own YouTube channel. And I think most of you guys are not demonstrators, but you probably should be. So if any of you guys want to sign up, well, actually, two of these are my downline, but um, the rest of you guys, man, you're crazy good. I'm like, whoa, make me look bad. <laughs> or else I'm a really good teacher. <laughs> oh, you guys are so sweet. Um, all right. So did, did Marie say how? Yes. Marie, how do you make that card? I want to know. I don't want to know. And I want the pattern to that jar one. That was really cute. All right. So we're going to make this card today um, doing a one sheet wonder. So we're really going to make like four of these. So the main stamp is textured floral. And then we're also using the words right here from the queen bee. And we're using the pig stamp um, from Artistically Inked. And the leaves from there too. And oh, we're using the leaves right here too for this one and that flower and the words. So we're using a lot of this one. So these are the three stamp sets we're using today. And then we're using lots of colors. So let me show you. Oh, you know what else I forgot? The card kit. Okay, so card kit for right now is this. So if you order from now till the end of the month, You'll get this card kit um, if your order is over $50 and you use the host code. And then you'll also get this pack of gems, which is the new ones. I think they're even sold out right now, but I have 10 of them. So um, if I run out, well, I'm going to try and order some more, but I think they're sold out right now. Um, oh, thanks, you guys. You are so sweet. So um, this is if you order $100 or more. And I also have a bunch of mystery boxes. So I'm doing mystery boxes again. So if you order $100 or more from now to the end of the month, well, from the 16th to the end of the month, you'll be entered to win a mystery box full of like 200 and some dollars worth of stuff. And I will ship it to you and it's going to be totally free. So one person will win a mystery box. If your order is over $100, so depending on how many orders I get, um, I'll draw a winner for that. And then if you want to buy one, they're $98 plus shipping, which comes out to like $115. So if you're interested in buying one, you can do that too. But it's um, a box, like a medium uh, flat rate box. It's about this big by like that high. And uh, it's just totally packed full of stuff. So there you go. All right, so let's get started. Oh, don't forget about the starter kit, too. I've got to take a swig of water. So the starter kit special is still going on until the end of the month. you got about a week left. And you can get, here you go, $125 in product for $64 or $168 in product for $99. So two awesome deals, free shipping, and you get a free paper pumpkin kit with your starter kit and you don't have to do anything else you can just enjoy all your free stuff never do another thing or you could just be a discount shopper um, if you want to and just order for yourself at a discount maybe for your friends but that's it no no stress involved 
Okay, so here we go. So if you're just, um, wow, I talked for 25 minutes. That's a long time. <laughs> so sorry to the people who don't like the chattiness. All right, so here's what you need. You need a sheet of eight and a half by 11 white. And then I don't know if we're gonna have time to make all four cards since I talk so much, but um, I got two peacock, pretty peacock and two blueberry bushel. Um, I don't even know if I spelled that right. Did I spell that right? I did, okay. Um, so two of each, so there's four total, five and a half by eight and a half. And my eight and a half by 11, that's just a whole sheet. I've got four pieces of white for the inside that are five and a quarter by four. I've got my little piece here that goes across the middle. So that is one half inch by three. So there's four of those. And I've got my circles cut out. These are the two inch circle punch. If you don't have the two inch circle punch, there's a die that is about two inches. So you can use that one instead. And then these are scraps from the one I messed up. So I just cut these little scraps. I did a practice when I messed up, so I just cut it up. So these little scraps go on the inside of the card. So I'll show you that. So that was the inside. So that is the card we're gonna make. If you wanna take a screenshot of that. So we're gonna make a fun one sheet wonder today. All right. I was um, watching Ruth the other day make a one sheet wonder and that's what I was like, oh, I haven't done a one sheet wonder in a long time. So I said, I need to do a one sheet wonder. I was gonna make it a Christmas card and I started with that um, Winter Wonder stamp set. And <laughs> I don't know how I ended up <laughs> going with this instead. But I was like, I need some kind of flower or something to put in the middle of it. So I picked this one. And then I liked the flower, but I didn't like the leaves I was using from that stamp set. So then I kept changing it. And by the time I finished, it wasn't a Christmas card anymore. So I was like, oh, well, <laughs> we'll just do something not Christmas today. So that's what we're doing. All right, so let me get a piece of scrap paper out. I'll get a bit extra big one. So in case I make a mess. All right, so here we go. We're starting with our piece of um, white. And the first thing we're gonna do is stamp our flower. Now this pad started out as super, super juicy. Um, so actually all my pads did. So when you're using a stamp like this, which is one of the distinctive ones, you don't want a juicy pad. You want it kind of dry. So I took um, a bone folder and scraped the ink across to the edges. So I'm hoping it still is like that, but I'm gonna check it to see. Nope, it got juicy again. So the ink comes right back. So see, that is too wet. So what I'm gonna do, is I'm gonna take my bone folder and I'm just gonna scrape it down to the end, which is gonna take the ink off of the middle area and see how it gets a little bit drier now. So that'll give me a better image than that right there. So this is my um, old bone folder that's got ink all over it. All right, so now let's try it again. So that, that's much better. So it gives it like a softer image instead of like a blob there. So we're gonna just stamp this all over our white piece. I'm gonna scoot this over here. So we're just gonna do a bunch of these all over. And you don't wanna have them like in a straight line. You kinda wanna do them like all over. And some going off the paper. And give it a good press down when you do it. And you don't want them too close together because we've got a lot more stuff to put in here, but um, we're gonna do maybe one more on the edge here. Okay, so I think that is probably good. See how pretty those came out? Love it, love it, love it. I think that's good. All right, so we'll clean that off a little bit. 
and then we're done with this color. So this was Moody Mauve. And move that out of the way. Now we're gonna come back with the center of the flower. So I'm gonna use Berry Burst. This one doesn't matter if it's juicy or not because I'm just doing the inside. So this is the little, um, I think it's called stamen, I'm not positive. But I'm just gonna put that right in the center of the flower. And just gives it a little pop right in the middle. So there you go. So now we've done that one. And that's all we need that one for. So that was our berry burst. And I'll show you all the colors again at the end. Um, all right, so next we're gonna go to gray. So I've got my words and my blob. So this is our um, biology fetal pig stamp from Artistically Inked that I love. And I'm gonna stamp the words. These are from Queen Bee. So we're just gonna do full strength on here and then second stamp like that. So put a bunch of these on here. I love words in my one sheet wonders. You just gotta try and remember to get them straight, which sometimes is hard to do because this one I put the sticker on just slightly crooked and I had to make sure I had it straight. So that's good for the words. So that was um, Smoky Slate and this is our blob stamp. And I'm not gonna stamp off or anything. I'm just gonna go full strength on here. Yes, Ruth does amazing one sheet wonder. So I'm just gonna do first and second stamping um, all over this, just to create some really cool blobs on here. I love this stamp. It's like one of my favorite background stamps. Love it. I don't want to go on top of my flowers, but um, I want to kind of cover the paper with this gray. This gray just gives it such a pretty background. Isn't that pretty? I love pink and gray together. I think it's such a pretty um, combination. All right, so, so that looks good already. That was Smoky Slate. So we've got Smoky Slate, Berry Burst, and Moody Mauve. And I'll show you all those at the end. All right, next we're gonna do, um, let's see, let's do Pretty Peacock. So we're gonna do Pretty Peacock with some leaves. And I'm gonna stamp these twice. Um, one. Wait a minute, let me see. Do I want full strength? Um, hmm. Let's try it stamped off and see. If we stamp, yeah, I think that's good. I'm gonna stamp it three times. So we're gonna stamp off the first time because that's really dark. And then stamp it three times on there. So depending on how wet your ink is, you might do it stamped off or maybe not. Hopefully I won't forget. And oops, I got a little line there. Yeah, be careful when you go on the edge, you might get that line that you don't want. Oh. We'll maybe cut that off. All right, and then and stamp off. Darn it. I did one without stamping off. See how it's a little bit darker now. Oops. Oh, I can't get there. All right, so we'll just put some around the edge, maybe like that. I love this color combination. Don't you guys love it? All right, I kind of want to put something there, but all right, I think that's good for right now for that. So that's pretty peacock. And now I'm gonna go to 
Oh, you know what I need to do is the flowers in the middle. Let's get those flowers down. Blueberry bushel. Um, let's see. Maybe I'll do, no, let's do the leaves, the other leaves first. And then we'll do that one. So these leaves are from this flower set. And this is Lost Lagoon. I'm gonna stamp this one off too because it's a little bit dark. And we're gonna put these kind of like next to the ones I just did already. So, oops, that's really light. So we'll have it like that. So it looks almost the same as the Pretty Peacock does, stamped off a couple times. So I love that leaf. So this one I gotta do ink up each time. And just twist my paper around. Isn't that beautiful? Let's get one over here on this one. Gosh, this is pretty. Mm. Love it, love it. I think this one's coming out better than the practice one I did. Uh, what do you guys think? You love it. Love it. I kind of should have done that one down just a little bit. It's just a little bit too high, but that's all right. We're going to cut it up, so it won't matter. All right, now I've got the berry. I mean, not berry. Um, blueberry. Yeah, blueberry bushel. So this is going to give it a pop of blue blue like bright blue i almost hate to do it because this is just so pretty by itself so you could just leave it like this if you want it to um but i do like the blueberry mixed in it the gray would take over the yellow like, yellow is not my favorite color background is the watercolor technique Oh, Marie says her card is this. The watercolor technique, once it's dry, use blending brushes with the same colors to darken. Then spray with shimmer spray. Wow, it looks like it was way more complicated than that. Um, all right, Robin says she is casing this one. What flower color could I use besides mauve? You don't like mauve? Um, I practiced a bunch on scrap paper. I just took a whole pile of different ink pads and did them in all different colors, and I really liked the mauve. Um, but if you don't like pink, um, you could use maybe purple. Oh, you don't have it. Um, uh, you know what's a good color? Do you have Rich Razzleberry? Rich Razzleberry is a gorgeous color that we don't have anymore, but oh my gosh, I love it. Okay. I think I'm going to stamp off on this one, too. And we're just going to put a few of these in here. In the middle. I don't like how I did two there, so we're just not going to do that anymore. So this just gives it another pop of the darker blue. You could have just left it the way it was, um, which was gorgeous already, but I do like that other blue. All right, so there you go. All right, then we're gonna take our sprinkle stamp and we're gonna add a little bit of Lost, or Pretty Peacock, sorry, sprinkles. I'm gonna tap off. The key to the sprinkles is gentle touch definitely want to stamp off first or as Ruth says dotage we're adding dotage so you be you're just gentle gentle we were talking about this yesterday with my girlfriends so we all have these customers that instead of you know all of our ink pads you can just barely touch them like that's how much you need to touch the ink pad. Just like, I'm not even hardly touching it. Just like set it down and that's enough. 
So you just set it down and then I'm stamping off and then stamp on. But we all have those customers that just smush the the stamp as hard as they can into the ink pad and get it all over the block and all over everything. And uh, <laughs> I don't understand it because I tell everybody all the time, <laughs> don't do that. <laughs> and the same people always do it. So um, looks like vintage wallpaper. Okay, so now we're done. Um, let me show you the colors again. I have one old ink pad. All right, so these were the colors that I used, the Smoky Slate. So we've got um, Lost Lagoon, Moody Mauve, Berry Burst, Blue Ray Bushel, Pretty Peacock, and Smoky Slate were the colors. If you want to write that down. Oh, you know what I forgot? The circle for the words and the inside of the card. So let's get that. Now the card's going this way. I could cut it the other way, but I stamped it the other way. All right, so we're gonna do this one on the inside. So I need my Lost Lagoon back. I'm gonna do this one full strength so I can do it a couple times. So we're gonna have this, this, this. Oh, it still doesn't do more than like twice. Gotta ink it up again. Maybe I used a lot of ink already. And then we're gonna put that strip down the side there. Oops, I didn't mean to stamp that off. Okay, so that's the stamping on the inside. Oops, and then we gotta do this one too. So we're gonna stamp on this part. Stamped off. Oops, like that. I'm gonna stamp the words right on top of that. But you want the words to pop, so you don't want too much ink on the other color. So that's our circles. Then we're gonna use, that was Lost Lagoon for that part. And then we've got Blueberry Bushel for the words. Don't need that. And this Blueberry Bushel pad is super juicy, so it will smear if I touch it right away. So I'm gonna have to just let that sit and dry for a second. Oh, and you know what? I think I wanna put some um, sprinkles on this one too. Let me get this one back. You know what I think I meant to do the sprinkles in Lost Lagoon and I did them in Pretty Peacock, but that's okay. You know what else I forgot? Well, I'm telling you, turning 58 made me really forget everything. Like, I didn't already forget everything. <laughs> I forgot to roll it in the blue. Oh, I forgot to tell you about my dentist appointment. I'm almost done here and I forgot to tell you. Okay, so I told you when I went to the dentist on my birthday, I told him it was my birthday. And he's like, dang, that stinks. You got to be here for your birthday. I said, I know. I said, well, I was sick on my original appointment, so the only time you could fit me in was on my birthday. And he goes, oh man. And so then I started telling him jokes, you know, and he's really funny. He's like, he's the same age as me and he's like a surfer guy. And, you know, he grew up at the beach and so did I. And, uh, but he's maybe like two years older than me, but um, he's just a really fun dentist. You know, I, I really like him. And his wife works there too, so it's their practice together. And um, so anyway, I told him that joke about, you know, the German joke. And he said, oh my gosh, he goes, I got a funny story. And he said, um, there's a college near us, it's called ODU, Old Dominion University, it's in Norfolk. And he said, I get a lot of um, 
what do you call it? intern, like, uh, internship people from there, like, that they, you know, come and practice their, uh, like, their, what do you call it, clinical or whatever, I don't know, that's for nursing, but, um, you know, when they got to do their practice thing, so they go to a dentist, real dentist office to do their, um, practicing. So he got one that was from Germany. And he said, you know, she spoke really, really proper English, but he said they were doing a patient and, um, the patient was like this older person and, um, they went to do like, uh, filling or something. I'm just going to put this on with tape in the inside. And, um, the tooth was just like crumbling apart because it was just like really decayed. And he goes, oh my gosh, this tooth is just so mushy. It's just like nothing there. It's just falling apart. And when he said the word mushy, the girl just kind of gasped. And he looked at her and he was like, uh, are you okay? And she was like, oh, yeah. And so he said it like three or four times and she didn't know why he was, why he didn't know why she was, um, I know this is going the wrong way, but it's okay. Um, because I stamped it this way, but it's going sideways. But nobody will notice. So, <laughs> she just, like, was really, like, being awkward about it. So, after they went out of the room, he said, did I say something weird? And, uh, you know, or he said, why did you act like that? She's like, well, in German, the word mushy, it's spelled differently. Because I looked it up just to see if that was true. But it's M-U-S-C-H-I. Actually is a uh, another word for a female body part. <laughs> he was like mortified. <laughs> but you know, he didn't know. I never would have known that either unless he told me. But he said she was just like, oh my gosh, why are you saying that? Because I guess it means something totally different in um, German. But I thought it was so funny. And then he was telling about this other patient that he had. Um, was this like really young, good looking girl. And so he was uh, doing some work in her mouth and he kept putting those um, cotton rolls, you know, to, you know, those little cotton roll things. And he's like, he kept putting it in her cheek, you know, to keep her tooth dry while he was doing stuff on it. And every time he put it in there, it just was like popping out. And so <laughs> he finished and... Um, she was like walking out and he said something about a joke and he's like, yeah, he said, you had really tight cheeks. <laughs> she turned around and looked at her butt and she's like, why, thank you. <laughs> and he said he turned like 10 shades of red and was dying because, um, you know, his wife was standing there because <laughs> he was talking about her cheeks in her mouth, but not in her behind. But, um, I just thought it was funny. So, anyway, it was just a cute um, story. Um, let me see. Oh, oh, then the other thing. So, you got to cut this into four card fronts. So, I'm just going to cut it in half to start. So, we're going to cut it at five and a half. Oops. So, now we got two halves. And then we're going to cut that into half again at four and a quarter. And then we're going to decide which part we want to cut off. Because you always have extra to cut it down to a card front. So for this one, first look and see, did I mess up anywhere that I want to cut off that edge? And I didn't. So I think I'm going to cut off this piece. And huh, I really hate to cut off any of this because it's so pretty. Mm, I think I'll cut off a little bit over here. So we've got to get it down to five and a quarter by four, which is the card front size. Um, and I think I cut off this top part. Oh, here's the other funny thing that happened. So, and you can save these to put like in your card if you, uh, you know, on the inside if you want to. Now this one, I did mess up down here at the bottom. So I'm going to cut that off. Um, so I was getting my crowns done. I cut that a little bit crooked. Um, so I had my temporary crowns and I was supposed to go back, you know, in September, but then I got COVID. So I had to wait a whole nother month. So what happened when um, the dental assistant, she went to put the um, the temporary ones, I mean, the, the uh, final ones in, 
one fit perfect and one like wouldn't go all the way down on my tooth. And she's like, it was right there, right next to each other. And she said, um, I think your tooth may have shifted just a little bit since you got the temp temporary crown on. And I was like, uh oh. So he comes in. <laughs> she said, she said, uh, we have a little problem. And he's like, what's wrong? And she's like, she's got a wedgie. <laughs> and he said, he said, we can take care of that wedgie. And I said, well, that's a good thing because I really don't like having a wedgie. <laughs> So we were just joking about that. And I said, when I go to work today, this was Wednesday, that everybody's going to say, how was the dentist? And I'm going to say, well, I had a wedgie, but he got it up for me. <laughs> so that just meant my tooth uh, was wedged. Um, it wouldn't go all the way down on the, the you know, underneath part because it was, it had shifted and the one in front of it was keeping it from going all the way down. So we just kept joking about that. I'm like, did you get that wedgie yet? <laughs> it was just funny. But it was a, an enjoyable dentist. And he said, he said, after I was done, he said, boy, you're the funnest patient I've ever had. <laughs> now this one, I didn't mess up either. So I'm just going to cut off the top part. All right, one more to go. And this one, I think I'm going to cut a little bit off this because I don't want to get rid of all the blue here. So that was my excitement at the dentist. So pretty much anything I do, I can make some kind of fun out of it. Even the dentist. Which I really don't like going to the dentist, but... Alright, so now we've got all those done. So these are our four card fronts. And all of our leftover stuff. So now we just gotta put them together. So everything is stamped, so I don't need this anymore. <gasps> Uh-oh. My screen just went away for a minute. <laughs> All right. Hey, Carolyn. Hey, Bonnie, you guys just got on here. Um. Oh, Jalen, you're going to make some of these right now. You guys are so funny. Yeah, too bad he's married. Well, he's not really my type. Um, he's, uh, you know, I kind of do have a type, but uh, he is he's really sweet, but he's just not my type. But his wife is super nice. She's They're both so nice. They're like the best dentist. All right, so um, what do you guys think about the background paper? So the one that I did in the sample, I did on the blueberry bushel. But I brought both of these so you could see. Do you like it better on the pretty peacock or the blueberry bushel? Because I think I brought enough of each color. I'm not sure. I might have brought three of each. Or we could just do two and two. I did have too much fun at the dentist. Oh, Esther said, I'm her daughter's age. Wow. So you could be my mom, Esther. <laughs> yeah, my dentist is funny. I am, Debbie, you're right. I am a girl who needs to laugh and make others laugh. I know it. Because pretty much everywhere I go, I just start joking around with people. All right, everybody likes the blueberry. Two and two, two and two. Most people like blueberry butter. I think I'm going to do two and two because actually the paper is right at the bottom of my box and I just piled all this, all those cards on top of it. So we're going to do two and two and just have a little bit of variety. So, all right, so I'm just going to glue these down real quick. So we'll just make all four of these cards real quick. Oops. And you know, it's so exciting. So my YouTube channel, I was getting like maybe, I don't know. 100 subscribers a week or so like for the longest time and then all of a sudden I don't know what happened but now I'm getting like 100 subscribers a day and I'm like what this is crazy so thanks you guys for um subscribing all, all the new subscribers because uh I don't know what happened but my channel just blew up and I've gotten um I think 700 and some new subscribers just in the last um, like two or three weeks, maybe. 
almost a thousand, I'm almost up to a thousand subscribers just this month. So it's exciting. And that they just like are going so fast now. I'm like, dang. So thanks for sharing and liking and commenting and all that stuff helps my channel grow. So um, as long as you guys keep doing that, then I'm happy. All right. So then what we're going to do is we're going to put some um, banners on the back of this. So I'm going to put it, um, just cut some banners on here. So on the end of each one, just cut a little snip right up the middle and then from edge to edge. Probably should wear my glasses for this because I can't see very good. My friend Michelle, she's like the best baker. She made these salted caramel pretzel bars for me. She's like, what do you want for dessert? Because <clears throat> we did a potluck. And Colleen made chicken enchiladas. We had chicken enchiladas, um, corn casserole, which was like kind of like corn pudding, cornbreads, you know, combination. It's that Jiffy corn casserole, which is so good. And then we had rice, and I made that crack dip, which is um, you take cream cheese and sausage, and you cook the sausage. So it's a roll of like Jimmy Dean's sausage and you cook that, um, you know, brown it up. And then you add, um, you're supposed to add, I think one block of cream cheese. I add two blocks of cream cheese cause I like it, you know, to make a little bit more and be like extra creamy. And then you add a can of Rotel and I just make it like in a little um, pan on the stove, but you can do it in like a little crock pot if you want, um, but it is the best dip to eat with chips. So we call it crack dip. And, uh, you know, cause it's addictive cause you gotta eat the whole entire batch when you make it. And it's only three ingredients, so it's super easy. You can use Velveeta. Um, if you don't like cream cheese, you can use Velveeta. So it's either, I like two blocks of cream cheese or one um, thing of Velveeta. They're both, that'd be 16 ounces of cheese. And then one thing of sausage, and I like the Jimmy Dean sausage because it's less fatty, and one can of Rotel. And then I like mild, but if you like it um, spicy, you can use the spicy one. All right, so we're just going to put this right across the, uh-oh, that one's smeared, right across the back. So just put it right on there like that. Dang, I'm gonna have to put like a gem or something on top of that. I told you that pad was juicy and it smeared just a little bit. And then my friend, she made those, uh, Michelle made those salted caramel pretzel bars, which are to die for. And I don't have the recipe to that because it's really hard. <laughs> That's why I always get her to make them. <laughs> it's like got a hundred ingredients. I don't know. It's a whole bunch of stuff, but you can look it up, salted caramel. Um, what is Ro Roselle? <laughs> Rotel. Rotel is just a can of diced tomatoes with, um, I think there's like green chilies and onions and stuff. It's kind of like, uh, maybe a juicy salsa almost. So it's, instead of just diced tomatoes, it's already got all the stuff in it. You know, like the onions and the, um, like peppers and all that stuff, jalapenos and green chilies. It's so it's really good. So you don't have to add all that other stuff yourself. So it's it just comes right next to the tomatoes and it's a little can. It's called Rotel, R-O-T-E-L. And it's really, really good. All right, so now we wanna put our ribbon on. So I've got this ribbon, which just came back in. I just ordered some more of it. It's the, oh look, I got a little blob from my take your pick tool. This is the sheer ribbon in silver and white. So I'm gonna put a bunch of tape all over the back of that. And then just make a like a uh, loop here and back up like that. You might have to add some more tape on the back. So I'm kind of making like a little bow, but it's just sticking on the back. So let me put some more tape. So you get like, um, 
there. So it just makes a bow kind of sideways behind it. So we're just gonna let that sit for a minute. I'm gonna put some dimensionals on the back. So you want a lot of tape to hold it down until you can get it um, all the way down. So just make a couple loops and back up the side. I was watching while I was cutting, uh, I did all the card kits um, yesterday and the day before. So I was watch, catching up on like Hallmark movies and all these good shows. Um, Cause I was cutting the card kits that I mailed out. So I mailed out some yesterday and the rest today. So hopefully you guys that ordered the last couple weeks, you'll get those this week coming up. Let me see. Love listening to you and I really like your one sheet wonder. Oh, thank you, Karen. I was getting ready to say Nigel, but it's Karen from Canada. Oh, Esther said she would love to have me as her daughter. Well, I wish I could be your daughter. That would be exciting. I could have a mom. I could have moms all over the place. <laughs> all right, let's see. Get this over here. I just think that's so pretty. I love this ribbon. Oops. Put extra tape on here. And I was saying to one of my friends, if I could win the lottery or retire, I would just buy it like a motor home and just go all over the country visiting all of you guys. So I could meet all of my YouTube watcher friends. All right, one more. Wouldn't that be fun? And then I could just like go to Panera's or some kind of like coffee place and say, okay, so I'll be in like, I don't know, Houston, Texas tomorrow. So let's meet for stamping at Panera's in Houston, Texas. And then anybody could come and we would just have so much fun. So if any of y'all win the lottery and wanna share with me so I can buy a motorhome and quit my job, I will do that. <laughs> or if you know, rich man. <laughs> Who already has one <laughs> who would be my kind of guy um you could do that for me um bonnie says stampin up should have me make some of their one sheet have make have me make some one sheet wonder dsp for them yeah my my um friends call it ldp visa's designer paper that's what my friend diane says ldp okay so now we got this one here. So we're gonna put some dimensionals on top of that to hold it down and stick them on. That's a long video, we're at an hour. Holy moly. Thanks for sticking with me so long, you guys. Oops, we're almost done. I know you hate it to end because it's Saturday. What else do you guys have to do on Saturday besides watch me? Probably a lot. <laughs> yeah, wouldn't that be cool, Deb? If I could just retire early. Only problem is I have to have health insurance. So I either got to find a really good guy with health insurance that I could get on or win the lottery or something. I think I'm just going to stick a couple extra ones on here. Okay, all right, so we're done with all that. So now we're just gonna pop these on. And then the gems and spray. And then I got a joke for you guys today at the end. All right, so this one. So you can just pick, if you messed up somewhere, you could pick that. If not, just put it like kind of in the middle. There we go. And then Aren't these so easy though? You just take a piece of white paper and just turn it into this beautiful work of art. And if you don't like these colors, you can use some other colors. So I don't wanna color that big, I mean cover that flower. So I'm gonna move it to the side on this one. <clears throat> I 
And uh, my favorite color was Rich Razzleberry. That just made the best flowers. And they got rid of it. And the Berry Burst is kind of too dark. I'm going to put this one to the left a little bit. Because I don't want to cover that one. And the Moody Mauve is not quite the same. That Rich Razzleberry just was really good. There is Blackberry Bliss, but that's a little darker. I wish they had kept the Rich Razzleberry. All right, and this one, wow, that's right in the middle. So, hmm, I guess I'll put it on the side here. We really probably should stamp something right there. Okay, so now we're going to take some of these gems. So these are the 2022, uh-oh. One just fell off. 2022 to 24 in color pearls. And let me get my take your pick tool. Stick that back down there. I don't know. I think this is Starry Sky that I'm using, but it matches blueberry really well. So I'm going to take the these and I'm going to put one there. See how perfect that matches? It's really Starry Sky, but... You can use it for anything. Let's just put them all over. I'm going to put a light one, too. This is Orchid Opulence. So we'll put one of those down here. There we go. Oh, so beautiful. Love it. So you can use either one of those blues. They both match really well um, with this. And you can put one right there if you want. But that wouldn't be too close to that. So I'm going to put one right here. All right, don't forget if you haven't done thumbs up, do that for me. I'm gonna cover this right there and put it over my blob that I messed up. And, oh, that really goes well, kind of with the um, pretty peacock. Love it. Last one. Oh, I forgot to put these in the inside. Uh oh, forgot that. We'll have to go back and do it. These are so pretty and they're sparkly, which is really nice. So they're, I'm gonna put one right there. They are, in, it says in color pearls, but they're actually like um, shimmery in color pearls. So they're not just plain old pearls. They're shimmery ones. All right, let me put these inside real quick. And then we'll spritz. Sorry, I talked so much today. I had to show you all those gorgeous cards, though. See how pretty that looks inside, even though it's sideways? That's all right. Nobody will care. But these are super, super easy cards, and they're just gorgeous. So you could whip these out in no time today if you want to make some for all your friends. They're great birthday cards. Or if you don't want birthday and you want something else, just put something else. And you can use whatever circle size you want. This is two inches, but um, if you have different words that fit different size circle, then just change that circle punch or use a different punch. But just make it easy. Okay. All right, so now we're going to spritz with shimmer. And every single video I have people ask, what is the shimmer spray? So shimmer spray is this stuff right here. Champagne mist paint from Sukuniko. And if you look below the video in the description box, it tells you exactly where you can order it. And then you mix it with alcohol, 70% rubbing alcohol. And I've done that in probably like once a month, I do it on the video. So just go back and watch some other videos and you'll see exactly how to make it. It's super easy. You just fill the bottle up with alcohol, that rubbing alcohol 70% and put about a quarter of a tea teaspoon of this and shake it up. 
And I have the ball that's in here is actually the ball that comes in here. So when I finished it, I just dumped the whole thing in there and the ball fell in. So, all right, so here we go. Get rid of that dirty paper. So what do you guys think of these gorgeous cards? Aren't they beautiful? Love, love, love. Love them. And you can save all of these for later. All right, it's joke time. Let me read comments real fast. And then I'm going to do the joke. Thanks, you guys. Oh, Esther, you did. You just made some right now and you used Rich Frazzleberry. Oh, good. I would love to see that. It's too bad we can't have, like, Zoom. And then I could see it. Got to have the bling. Yep. Deb says, what, what my, I am so much fun, our Creative Saturday class. Oh, yes. Two bad Spice Girls, not here, because she was always the life of the party, too. Um, your daughter-in-law's here with her service dog. Your husband left a mouse poison tablet out. The dog ate it. Oh, gosh. Yikes. I hope the dog's okay. Um... Your Blackberry Bliss is more black than berry. Yeah, Blackberry Bliss is a little bit dark. Um, oh, Robin, I'd love for you to come to Chesapeake and visit. Esther says, I think you've been reading my mind. I thought ingre you bought ingredients to make corn casserole and that sausage dip last week. That's so funny. That sausage dip is to die for. All right, here's my joke. I can't remember if I told this before or not, so... Um, if I told it before, I'm sorry. I tell these jokes so much, you know, to other people and at work. I can't remember sometimes if I already told you guys, but I, I don't think I've told this one. I don't know. It's about the guy who has no arms and legs. Have I told you guys that one before? It would have been pretty recent if I did. Did I tell the one about that one? Spice Girl is watching over us. Yes, she is. Anybody remember the, the joke about the guy with no arms and no legs? It would have been like in the last week or so. If not, I'm going to tell that. That's the one I'm going to tell today because it's really funny. All right. Nobody's saying they remember this joke. Nope. Okay. It's a funny one. All right. So here we go. Once upon a time, there was a lady who was tired of living with men who were either physically abusive, who ran away from her, or who were horrible in bed. So she put an ad in the paper that was asking for a man who, number one, would treat her nicely, number two, wouldn't run away from her, and number three, would be good in bed. Three weeks passed by and there was no reply from any man. So she just figured that there wasn't a man alive who could live up to her expectations. So she just gave up. But then one day, she heard the doorbell ring. But she heard the doorbell ring and she said she answered it and there was on the front porch a man in a wheelchair who didn't have any arms or any legs. The man said, I'm here about the ad you put in the paper. As you can see, I have no arms, so I can't beat you. I have no legs, so I can't run away from you. And the woman replied, yes, but are you good in bed? The man said with a smirk on his face, well, how do you think I rang the doorbell? <laughs> Might take you a minute to get that one. <laughs> but it's a funny one. Your husbands will definitely like that one. So you'll have to tell them. All right, you guys. Well, thank you so much for joining me. Um, I think I'm going to go ahead and stop. And I have cards to give away, but I'm going to save them until next time because we're already at an hour and 15 minutes. So I know you guys are probably ready for a bathroom break because I am. <laughs> Mm. Well, I'm glad you liked the cards and the joke. Don't forget, thumbs up, like, subscribe, comment, share, put it on Pinterest, just do whatever you want. Um, and I will be so grateful. And thank you, thank you, thank you again to all of you guys who sent me a birthday card. They were amazing, amazing, amazing. And um, the winners, make sure if you were one of the winners... Uh, well, I think I've got everybody's address already from the card except John. So, John, if you are watching this on the replay, um, send me your address so I can send you a gift. And I'll be back on Tuesday with another video, Tuesday at 7 p.m. Eastern Time. 
So don't forget, set your clocks for then, and I will see you back in a few days. Um, and if you ever get bored and have nothing to do, I have 500 videos on my channel that you can watch. You just go to my channel and click on live at the top and it'll take you to all the live videos. Or if you just click videos, those are all the old ones before I used to go live. So um, I'll see you soon. Everybody have a great weekend. Bye-bye.